how to create a free Google Cloud trial account so that you can practice over the next 90 days freely, including what all three things you will need in order to create this free trial account, as well as step-by-step -step instructions to create same. I'm going to cover all this in this video. Hi, my name is Atul from Team K Tonin Academy. Now, first important thing to understand is that you will need three things in order to create a free trial account. First, you will need an email address, which is a Google uh, domain. So email address, you need a phone number with your country code on which you can receive messages. And third thing is you need a valid credit card with an international payment enabled. Now you might be wondering, why do I need a credit card if it's free? So that is only to uh, validate your identity. And after 90 days, if you want to upgrade to pay as you go model, then you will be used the same card. Now, one thing I want to highlight is that if you don't upgrade to pay as you go model, you will not be charged. So you are safe in Google Cloud. This is unlike AWS. Now, this video has been taken from my step-by-step uh, -step training program for Google Cloud architects and Google Cloud uh, engineers. So you might hear some references about the training program. So ignore that. And if you want to go deeper and would like to learn and know about this program towards the end, I would like to invite you for a free approximately 90 minute class so that you can understand how you can go from a complete beginner in Google Cloud to a certified Google Cloud architect with extensive hands-on knowledge to perform and do activities as you do in cloud. So let's look at how to create your free trial account. In this video, we're going to look at how to register for a free Google Cloud account so that you can practice your all the Google Cloud labs that we are going to do in uh, our Google uh, training program. Also then once you have created an account, how do you log into the Google Cloud console? Now, I'll always explain the process. This is how it's going to be. So this is where you see the last update of the document, which is uh, YYMMDD, which is like year 2022. And um, most of these guide, this guide will be still be relevant. But if you notice any screen being updated by Google Cloud, we'll update the video. So you always have latest video guide here. Now, the index page will first I'll explain to the introduction and then second chapter will always be like documentation link that will refer or point to the documents that we have referred in order to prepare this guide. And if you want to go a little bit deeper into this respective guide, you can click on these links and go get to know more about it. Chapter three is going to be prerequisite now because uh, on this and in this case, in order to play with a Google account or Google uh, cloud account, you should either have a Gmail account or you should have an account email address that's registered with Google Gmail domain. So we'll be using a Gmail account. So you should already have a Gmail. I'll explain that as well if you don't have one. Uh, then we'll look at how to register for this Google free trial account and you will need um, the email address. You will need a phone number and you will need a credit card. Now, the one common question we get in our training program is that, oh, you said it's a free trial account and why they are asking for it credit card. So the credit card is required so that later after 90 days, so this trial account is free for 90 days. And after 90 days, uh, when you go for pay as you go model or upgrade it to pay as you go model, that time that credit card will be used. Google as of uh, December or late 2022, uh, they is, are not going to charge you for the uh, trial account unless you upgrade to pay as you go model uh, so later after 90 days. So you're all covered here um, and you will need a phone number as well. So you keep a phone number handy. The credit card that you're going to use should have an international payment enabled, especially for Asian countries or someone from India. If your credit card is not internationally uh, international uh, payment enabled, you might get an issue with that. So because it's going to deduct some money, which is, I think, a very small amount and then return it back. Um, that's what typically happens with other cloud providers as well. So this is what you're going to look at. So first is, as I said, 90 days, you get free uh, or $300, whatever comes first, um, you'll be uh, you, you'll be getting that. Now, you should have a Gmail account uh, already created. And if not, simply you go to uh, the browser. And if you don't have a Gmail account, simply go to gmail.com and this should have an option to create an account. I already have created an account here. That's why I've already logged in. Uh, it, it's showing me that I've logged in. If you don't have, maybe you can uh, you can go and create a new account uh, on here. So this is a trial account which I've already created. And you can see when you go to 
add account or if you want to have a create a separate account you can do that as well uh, just for google cloud so you go to gmail and click on create account and then you can say for my personal use i'm creating a gmail account it's pretty simple straightforward process so i'm not going to cover that now once you have the gmail account then all you need to do is click this url cloud.google.com forward slash free so it's cloud https cloud.google.com forward slash free that's what i'm trying here and once that's done you will be going on to the start free on the right hand side top button or it will be on the center of the page which is get started for free it's going to ask you for login if you have not logged in so use the email address that you've used to uh, that you've created uh, or you should already have so this is the screen which i was talking about i um, can click here start free or i can click here get started for free so i click e either of link it's going to take me to my gmail account and it's asking me to the country here if you picked up a different email address you can click on the switch account and it should work um, you should be able to have another gmail account as well i'm based in uk so i'm selecting country as united kingdom and description or organizational needs depending on what you want to set up typically we are using it for personal purpose so we'll use it other and you have to agree to terms and conditions for google cloud so click on agree to terms and conditions and click on continue here now right hand side it tells you that you get 300 dollars credit which you can use over the next 90 days you have access to all google cloud products and you have to verify your credit card um, to make sure that you're not a robot and it's a genuine account also it's important to note here saying that it won't charge until you manually upgrade to pay uh, to a paid account now on the customer info what kind of account it is you want to make it a business account or an individual account so we're going to use an individual account now this is all i've given in the guide as well but let's it's self-explanatory so i'm not going to go into the guide but if you need anything or any screens changes we'll update the guide here parallel so this is where i'm going to put uh, the uh, details so i enter your address and uh, address and then you have to pr provide the credit card details so i'm going to hold this uh, uh, screen right now i uh, don't want to reveal my details personal details so i'll hold this and i'll come back once the credit card details are entered then i'm going to click on and i'll come back onto the screen here so if you notice i've entered my details and i've added my credit card and i'm using a mx credit card and um, so i'll click on say start my free trial here now it's saying setting up the billing so once the payment has been accepted and my account has been created it will take me to the screen like where it shows my google my first project or the background but it also is asking me some details saying that your free trial includes 300 dollars in credit to spend over the next 90 days and i need to answer the four questions first is that uh, first is already answered what describes your organization or need because i've done the personal option what brought you to google cloud and i think i would say that i want to learn about specific product services you can use any of them um, uh, or so i will say select one learn about other specific product about specific products or you can pick others you pick whatever comfortable you're comfortable with now and then you don't need to put select all of them i'll simply say done here and if you want to if you're selecting other products other services it will help you let's suppose you want to learn more about how i'm keen on learning virtual machines i'm also learning interested in data management i'm also learning interested in maybe storage backups and i'm also interested in artificial ai machine learning and i think and based on what you want to learn more you can select uh, uh, so that you get more information about that and then finally it will ask you what is your best describes best role now once you're here it asking you on the next screen it's, it's asking you what all things you can perform and it's giving you some options here so saying you can try out on compute engine or storage or SQL and a lot of other things as well. And there are tutorials available. It's also asking me if I use or create a compute, it'll roughly charge me $25 credit. It's not going to charge it because it's a free trial account, but it's it's going to use approximately around $25 from my $300 free credit. Similarly for storage, maybe $5 from my $300 free credit or and so on. And you can look at these tutorials. Now in the program training program, we have to go and 
complete or do all of these labs separately. We are going to do compute, storage, networking, databases, SQL, and a lot more monitoring, etc. So for now, I'll say skip for now and click on and this is my the Google console page and this is where I'll be doing most of my work. So in the next video, I'm going to explain all these uh, here, all these different services. And the first thing or as you do in is you go and in order to use any services, you'll be first thing you're doing, going to do is you're going to create a project. So project is nothing but the first thing you do um, in order to use any of these services. Uh, so but we'll come to that point on how to create a project, uh, what the project means, etc. in subsequent uh, videos. Uh, just a quick walkthrough here. This is where you will see billing. This is where you see all the common services and we'll look at these common services one by one. So now you're already into the Google Cloud account. We have successfully created a Google Cloud account. I've used my dad's name here and uh, just to on this screen, um, we have already logged into this, this document here. Now, if let's suppose you have logged out and you want to log in back in, you can go back to console.cloud.google.com and you're straight back into this Google Cloud account. So let's suppose I've logged out here or I've closed this window and tomorrow later I want to open this console. You simply say console.cloud.google.com. Uh, you have to enter your email address and password, which is your Gmail email, Gmail ID. I've already logged in. That's why it's basically taking me to straight onto this page. And that is where I'll begin with my first project. So that's pretty much on about how to create a free trial account. If you have come so far, uh, then inform me in our WhatsApp group saying that you've completed a free trial account. That will tell me that you're making progress and it'll also inspire other members in the group to take action and they will also create a trial account. Well, this video has been taken from our step-by-step -step comprehensive program to go from a complete beginner to becoming a Google certified professional cloud architect or cloud engineer. We go from complete beginner, keeping you as a cloud beginner in mind and cover things like design, security, identity nexus management, compute, which is your virtual machines, databases, networking, storage, management and monitoring, automation and case studies. It's a comprehensive program covering 15 modules, 50 plus video lessons, 25 plus hands-on lab, 100 plus exam questions. And the most important is a CV preparation, and how to prepare for your interviews. The most important is after the live interactive program, you get a one year on job support. And if you want to know more about this weekly live interactive eight week step-by-step -step program, I would like to invite you for approximately 90 minute free class where we are going to cover who should learn Google Cloud and why they should learn it. We'll cover some of the basic core services of Google Cloud, keeping you beginner in mind. We'll also talk about one of the most common and hot topic that is containers and Kubernetes and how these are implemented on Google Cloud. We'll do a demo of deploying a Google Kubernetes engine and we are going to give you a step-by-step -step eight week learning path from to go from complete beginner to a certified Google Cloud architect. So not only you learn all these, but implement them like a real expert covering 25 hands-on lab that will help you to learn all the concepts and actually see how these are done in Google Cloud. I'll also give an opportunity on how you can get hold of these 100 plus simple exam questions that will prepare you for Google Cloud certification. So go to the URL ktoninacademy.com forward slash GCP Pro 02, enter your name, email address, and optionally a phone number with a country code, and select the date which is convenient to you over the next one or two days, and then click on yes, save my seat. Now remember we get excellent feedback on this free class. So if you want to take your career to the next level by becoming a Google certified cloud architect, then I'll see you in this free class. And if you have any questions for me for this video, then leave them in the comment section and I'll make sure that I'll answer all these questions. And we'll see you in another video.